This isn't the biggest quad in the world, but it flies like one where it matters. And as my girlfriend likes to tell me, you don't always need a full five inches to have a really good time. Let's explore the world of the Caillou Mini. This sub 100 gram 2.5 inch tiny, tiny freestyle beast is ridiculously small, but has a whole wad of big quad energy. It is made by a company called Caillou Frames here in Europe, who aren't as widely known as some of the other companies that have a load of sponsor pilots and do a lot of marketing. But the people that fly their frames swear by them. And honestly, after experiencing this one, I will be trying out more of their stuff in the future. So what is it that sets this apart from all of the other micro and tiny frames that are available? Firstly, when you take the frame out of the packaging, the quality of the carbon and how it's machined is incredible. And you all know how much I love my quad Muller carbon in my bigger quads, and this is right up there with that. I honestly don't think I've flown anything this small that has had this much attention to the machining of it and feels this good. The next thing is, is that every damn company says that their tiny quads fly like a five inch. And let's face it, the majority of the time, if you go into it expecting that, you are left unsatisfied, frustrated, probably wanting a little bit more. And I know that it is possible to build something smaller that feels like a five inch. I've done it before with this three inch quad muller, which is still one of my favorite things to fly. But look at the size of this in comparison. This is the Caillou Mini. And here's the size of this in comparison to my other 2.5 inch freestyle quads, the Quad Muller Gin F25. Here it is next to my tiny trainer, which is a three inch. Here it is next to my favorite three inch, which is the Siren F3. This is what it looks like next to a Pavo 20 Pro, which is a 2.2 inch. Here it is next to my Grinderino, which is a 3.5 inch quad. And here it is next to my five inch build, the Quad Muller Siren F5. So hopefully that gives you an idea of just how small this thing is. And if not, well, here it is next to my tiny whoops. This is a 65 millimeter Air 65, a 75 millimeter Air 75. And here it is next to my Beta FPV Meteor 75 Pro that also runs the DJI 04. And it's fairly comparable. And please don't take this as me hating on tiny quads. I have so much love for my tiny whoop fleet and also my ridiculously small baby turtle and fireflies. They're so much fun to fly and come into a whole class of their own. But I'm also not gonna sit here and pretend that they feel the same as flying a five inch freestyle quad. The Caillou Mini on the other hand, when you're running a DJI 04 with that narrower field of view, it really does feel like you just whipped out a five inch and you've started flinging it around. It feels much bigger than it actually is. So how have they done this and what's the secret? Well, physics. This has the same thrust to weight ratio as a five inch freestyle quad. And the way you build it, the components, the battery size have been chosen specifically to perform as intended by Caillou Frames. And this brings me on to one of the good and bad things about this quad for anyone that wants one. For those people that want this as a bind and fly, unfortunately, this is something that you have to build yourself. Caillou only supply the frame and the hardware, but wait, before you switch off the video, the good news is, is that this is a ridiculously easy build. And I made a step-by-step -step video about this a couple of months ago, so I'll leave a link to that in the comments so you can check this out after you finish watching this. I would probably say it takes about maybe an hour, maybe a little bit more with the beta flight setup, but it is probably one of the easiest builds out there. It requires minimum soldering, just the motor wires, the XT30 pigtail for power, and then everything else is pretty much just plug and play. The reason why this is so easy to build though is because, and I don't think I've ever seen this from any other frame company, but Caillou have a full guide that gives you the detail of all of the components you should use for the build, and then gives additional options depending on your budget, how you want it to fly like, and whether you want to use analog or digital, and yes, that includes DJI. They didn't stop there though. They also included a setup and tuning guide, which gives you a near perfect starting point. And for honestly about 95% of people, you're probably not gonna to have to tweak that at all if you stick to their build. The final thing is that these can be built sub 100 grams without too much effort, which means smaller batteries, smaller motors, less inertia, so breaking this frame takes a lot of effort, and I haven't managed this yet. 
It's also a lot less intimidating for anyone nearby when you're flying. Let's talk about that for a second because this quad is so quiet, I'm pretty sure that most people won't even realize it's nearby until it gets very close. I'm gonna do a quick sound test of the Caillou Mini so that you can hear what this sounds like. Um, I'll take off from here with a launch. I'll come back, I'll hover around it as well, but you'll hear just how quiet this thing is. I even have higher pitch props on this one. Um, on this one, I have like the smaller props. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll go with the, the higher sounds so that you can hear what this one sounds like. Yeah. So this is me hovering about maybe a metre or two away. Even if I punch out. That's how quiet a Caillou Mini is. I built three of these and in my previous video or if you follow me on other social media you will have seen me fly in one of these with the Flywoo wide angle lens. Now I love flying with that wide angle lens but it does make the camera stick out way further changing the balance of the quad when you're flying it so it didn't feel quite right. What's worse is that 3D camera mount is a little bit thinner in material to fit the wide angle lens so it doesn't offer as much protection. And multiple times I could see that mount had moved to one side or the other and it was getting hit by the props. I basically destroyed an O4 camera as a result of this and the hit wasn't even that hard. So my suggestion is that you just stick with the normal O4. So now I've actually switched that one over to HD0 with the AIO15 and the Lux camera. And if you've been to my channel before, you know how much I love the feel of flying HD0. I only wish I'd realized I didn't have an SD card in the goggles the whole time that I was trying to film those flights for this video. You actually don't save that much weight using the AIO15, only around about 5 grams, which is still a fair amount for this size build. And I'm running the lower 8000 kV motors on this, and it performs pretty well, but I still think I would prefer the 11000 on this, so I'm probably going to change those over. I've had a few comments both here on YouTube and in real life from people on the price of the frame being about 30 euros for two tiny pieces of carbon and some screws. But honestly, if I look at the full build at around 250 euros, and that's including the DJI 04, I don't think I've flown anything as good as this with DJI for that price. Even this little Flywoo Firefly 04, which I really love and it's about the same price as this build, it's not even in the same league. My favourite thing about this is that it's so easy to travel with. I put on my DJI goggles, my Radio Master Pocket in my chesty, I strap two of these to the front, I have my V-Fly two store charger in this pocket on the side, I have my battery stored in these tiny little tins which I can get about four of these per tin, and then I can get two tins here on the other side, and then I even still have space for props, a tool, battery pack, USB cables in the front here. And I've been carrying this on a plane as my laptop bag or when I'm cycling around the city here rather than taking one of my huge FPV bags. And just so I can make sure that I cover the good and the bad, here's the major catch with this frame. It is near impossible to get hold of for most people. Caillou are trying to resolve this and now you can get it from both drone FPV racer here in Europe but also Pyrodrone in the US. Probably one of the biggest downsides to a quad this size is turtle mode. Landing grass or nearby a leaf or anything other than a clear flat place and turtle mode doesn't really work. You're basically too close to the ground with the props and there's not enough power to flip you over. This also happens if you land upright as well. You may not be able to take off unless the ground is completely flat. Something else I found whilst testing these is that the lightweight 2.5 inch props that I used in my build video, they are amazing to fly with. It keeps the weight down, 
but they do get chipped pretty quickly if you fly like I do. And when I say fly, I mean crash. What I found is that the 63 millimeter DT props from HQ that I also use on my other 2.5 inch build, which are technically four 2.5 inch cine whoops, just take way more of a beating. There's a small weight penalty for using them, but they are higher pitched and they don't get chipped quite as easily. If you're running the 11,000 kV motors on your build, you'll still have plenty of power and won't notice it that much. For me, because of where and how I fly, this is really perfect. I will always love my 5 inch and 3 inch builds, but there's something so great about being able to fly this without anyone nearby even realizing it's there, or annoyed by the sound of it. And yes, I have my tiny whoops as well, but this gives me a whole other level of performance that I didn't think was possible at this size. I do feel like I should really ban myself from flying these for a little while so I can go try some new stuff and make some other videos, but if you do want a step-by-step -step guide on how to build one of these, I would check out this video here, otherwise you probably want to go here next, and I'll see you guys in the next video.